Well, I think I maxed the pump out. <laughs> Well, I just popped into Walmart to stock up on my goods. I got plenty of food. I got bags. I got paper towels. I got spray cheese and crackers. Mmm, yummy yum sauce. I did actually get yum yum sauce. Canned chicken and rice. Sounds like a nice little Asian dinner night while in San Francisco. And grand total, everything included, a whole cart full of stuff. $113.07. So that puts the total so far, not even getting to San Francisco yet. What in the world is wrong with this lady's car? Thank you. I'm trying to record a video over here for Christmas critters sake. Anyways, uh, <laughs> we got a running total right now. Gas and food of $213.07. And seven cents exactly on the nose and we'll see if we can't get through the next several days without spending too much more money on insane purchases of food that I'm craving instead of dealing with the food that I have now one thing is for certain I'm going to Boudin and I'm picking up a loaf of their chocolate sourdough bread it's got chocolate chips in it Mm-hmm, that's right, honey. We are heading out of Tracy up Highway 4, cutting through a bunch of towns. I don't even know the names of them because I don't have a map in front of me. That would have been helpful right now at this time of the day. Made it to Sausalito, California. Not a bad little trip. Little bit of truck traffic just leaving Tracy on Highway 4. But once I got onto the main highway, well, it was smooth sailing all the way here. Paid one toll. Well, I didn't pay it yet, but one toll incurred going across the San Rafael Richmond Bridge and that will be mailed to me <laughs> sometime in the future a couple weeks a few days back when i was here it was so foggy you could not see the city from here today it is a beautifully clear and eh, partially cloudy day and what a nice day in the upper 50s probably around 58 maybe 60. feels about 60 in the sun here and i think I'm just going to hang out on this side of the bay today into the night, watch the sunset go down beyond the Golden Gate Bridge. What a beautiful thing to behold. I can't wait to see it, which means I'm making my way south down this road right behind me. And I'm going to go down there to the fort and post up for a little while.
entering into Fort Baker area. They got a lot of cool little pullover areas on the side of the road here. Little picnic tables and garbage cans. Little kind of day use spots. Pretty cool. Um, plan to use those at some point. Maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, but eventually I will be parking here. <laughs> Talk about a cool place to park up, huh? Well, I'm here for a while. I'm here for the day, hanging out right here next to the Golden Gate Bridge. What a beautiful place to park up. No sign saying you can't park here for any length of time at all. People are parked down over here. People are parked right over there. People come out and do fishing right here on this old pier. What a beautiful day. Making a little bit of the din din here. I got some rice steaming. I got a little bit of canned chicken breast, which I'm gonna heat up, put it on top of some rice with some yum yum sauce. Yum 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 yum. What a beautiful spot to have dinner, watching the sun go down over here. The Golden Gate just beyond. And earlier when I was cruising through town and the other day when I was over here and you know several months almost a year ago now when I first passed through here with my van on my long coastal trip I did scout out some parking spots and I did notice one thing as in San Francisco at least in the Fisherman's Wharf and Barcadero area same here in Sausalito with all the parking meters you only have to pay from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. So that leads one to believe that you can park there for free from 6 p.m. till 9 a.m. And some of the areas of the street running through Sausalito there did have extra signs about, you know, caveats at times that street cleaning is happening. So you got to keep aware of that always. Nowhere have I seen no overnight parking signs. I have not seen that anywhere. So that is a good thing. I got a couple of spots I scouted out, one of which I saw just as you're uh, getting on by the 101, just north of Sausalito, there's a nice little park and ride there. And uh, I might go back to the spot where I parked the first time I was here, right on the main road, little uh, side street action. Or I could park down right there along the bay. I saw a couple of spots, kind of a residential area, um, but there's a section I saw where there's like no houses there. That'd be kind of cool to wake up next to the bay and watch the sunrise over the city in the morning, assuming it's not all fogged in. <laughs> this rice has got to almost be done now. Steaming away pretty good. And I'm just going to have myself a nice little dinner and generally just be thankful that I'm here on such a beautiful day as this.
see how I did here. A little rice, chicken with some yum yum sauce. Mmm. <laughs> That is so good. I mean, you put that yum yum sauce on anything and it is delicious. Mm. Well, this spot is as good as any. Just parked up on the side of the road. No big whoop. I parked here before. Other people parked here as well as you can see when I pulled in. So, no big deal. Nice safe spot. Lock up the doors. Have yourself a Merry Christmas. Oh wait, it's not Christmas yet. It's coming up on summertime, kids. Get ready to party. Now, for the famous maneuver. Yeah. 